Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today. We have a couple days of cleaning, getting our house back in order. So as some of you may have heard, our area was impacted by these high winds that happened. Um, we had super high winds, we had wind gusts of like 60 miles per hour, and along with that we lost our power for three days and three nights total. Um, so we were without electricity and along with that, we didn't have proper heat because we didn't have electricity. Uh, so we brought this little fireplace back up from the basement just for temporary heat. We did have a small generator, so we plugged the fan into the generator um, and we had heat out here in the living room. So basically what we did, we moved our mattress out into the living room um, for the nights and then the children slept out in the living room with us as well just so that we could stay somewhat warm during the night and of course we had to run cords to our freezers down the basement that was one thing that I was the most worried about so we did that as well with the little generator that we had we have a lot to be thankful for but now that we do have power again we have a lot of cleaning up to do and just getting the house back in order so i hope you enjoy as we go throughout this, these couple days and get everything back to where it should be So here you see just a quick overview of the living room and then also the kitchen, just how everything was looking. So it was in very dire need of just being cleaned up and getting everything back to where it needs to be again. So I'm going to go ahead and just get some laundry started first of all, and then we can get back to this mess. Um, so we're gonna just start with kind of picking up the obvious things that are out of place but the first thing that I did want to do is start the dishwasher these dishes had been sitting for a little bit so I wanted to get this started and get them washed and cleaned so we're gonna go ahead and get the dishes started and then next is just of course these cords needed to be wrapped up and put away I'm um, just starting with the things that obviously don't belong in the house or in the living room picking up things um, as I go and then we can start with more of the cleaning and straightening up after that
And then of course we disconnected the propane line and then we're going to move the little uh, fireplace back down in the basement where it was before and then just get kind of this living room back to where it was, moving the couches back and then finish off with mopping the floor um, and getting everything back to where it was. And along with a power outage, as you can well imagine, we had lots and lots, loads and loads of laundry to do. And I'm just starting getting this tackled by starting with the towels. I had a load to fold here. Um, but yeah, I was doing laundry for several days just trying to get caught up again. And it took quite some time to get everything washed and get it cleaned again. And the last thing that I'm going to do is um, just get all the dishes out of the dishwasher that were cleaned and get everything put away. And then we'll go ahead and get uh, the dishes that are on the countertop stacked into the dishwasher and let that run during the night. The next morning we got right back at it again with some laundry. Um, I have a another load of towels here, but I went ahead and just wiped down the table first, get all the crumbs off so that we have a clean working surface here. Next, I'm going to go ahead and make my morning shake. Now this is my little um, shaker that I like to use. It's an electric one. And the shake that I'm making is um, from Milk Dust. I have really been enjoying their shakes. I use oat milk um, to mix it together. And this has really helped me in um, my breastfeeding journey. I started using Milk Dust as soon as our newborn was born. And I have really been loving it. It has helped so much for me. And I love this shaker. It is nice and quiet, as you can hear. Um, it doesn't make a lot of noise. It doesn't have blades, so it is definitely a little quieter. And the shake itself, I don't think is a bad taste at all. I know I've definitely had worse tasting protein shakes, and there's all kinds of good things in here for you for um, breast milk production, as well as curbing those sugar cravings, which I love. So I'm going to go ahead and drink my shake for the day before we keep going here. And the next project is behind the fridge. Since we had pulled the fridge out anyways to plug it into the little generator, um, I'm going to go ahead and just push it forward a little bit further so I can get back there and just clean up the floor and behind the fridge while it's out anyways.
Next we are going to move on to the interior of the fridge and being our fridge was unplugged for a number of hours there was a lot of food waste um, sadly in the fridge um, some milk products like some sour cream and some of my oat milk and things like that did have to be thrown out um, I was kind of focusing on my big freezers with all our meat and things making sure that was plugged in because that would have been much more of a loss um, if that would have went bad. So there was some food waste in the fridge, but we're gonna take care of that. And I'm just taking everything out to start with. And the fridge did need to be cleaned anyway, so I thought this was just a good chance to just give it a deep clean while we're kind of going through everything.
After getting the inside and the outside of the fridge all cleaned off, I'm going to go ahead and empty the dishwasher. These dishes that we had put in earlier were clean and ready to be put away. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get started with putting all the dirty dishes from the fridge, the things that I need to throw out, just get rid of that stuff, and then put all those dishes into the dishwasher and get those um, in there to get cleaned as well. And by the time I had gotten rid of all the food that had gone bad, the kitchen was definitely not smelling the greatest. So we're going to go ahead and get some lemon and lime essential oils going. And it started smelling a lot better very soon. And then moving over to the countertop over here, I'm just going to give it a good wipe down and just kind of going around my yogurt that I have going in the Instant Pot here. Um, I love making homemade yogurt. Don't get it done nearly as often as I would like. If you want to see how I make my yogurt in the Instapot, there is a video that I done uh, quite some time ago. I will try to see if I can find it and link it for you, but it's super easy and only three ingredients and it is really good. Now just finishing off with wiping down countertops and just getting everything cleaned up out here in the kitchen, getting all the surfaces cleaned. That is where I'm going to leave you for today. I didn't get everything cleaned, but I did definitely make a huge dent in what I wanted to get done. So I'm super happy with what we got done and I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and just spending a few days with me getting everything back in order. And I will see you next time. Bye.